There must be something wrong with us to do what we did. We had those ten thousand dollars in our hands. The ones who tied up everybody. We searched all over. We knew that the guy that told us about it was wrong. There was no money. Dick wouldn't believe it. He went tearing through the house, banging on the walls, searching for his safe. When he was done, he said he was going to go up to Nancy's room and have his way with her. But I wouldn't allow that. And I told him so. So I sat with her. Dick came up and got me. We switched off all the lights and went downstairs to the basement where Mr. Clutter and the boy was. He kept saying, no witnesses. But I figured if I waited them out, we'd leave them tied up there and then drive to the night and no one would find us. We tied Mr. Clutter's wrist to a pipe over his head. But he looked hurt, so I cut him down. I put a box out there to make him more comfortable. He was just looking at me. Looking into my eyes. Like he expected me to kill him. Like he expected me to be the kind of person that would kill him. And I thought, this nice man is scared of me. I'm so ashamed. He was a very nice, gentle man. And I thought so, right up until I slit his throat. Didn't know what I did till I heard the sound. <laughs>